Want to know what the only parenting books you need are? In our opinion, we have a 10 month old and we'll tell you, coming up. Hi, I'm Koejo. I'm Jamie. And this is our family vlog, We Are Learning Mandarin, where we share with you our life raising Elena Faith in China and how to skyrocket your savings. Here are the only four books that we read to parent Elena Faith. She's now 10 months old, and we'll share with you a bit about how that's gone. The titles are The Secrets of the Baby Whisperer, Bringing Up Bebe, Super Baby Food, and The Wonder Weeks. I put a link about those four books in the descriptions. Check it out to see what other parents had to say. The biggest thing is that you need to choose a strategy. Block out the noise and choose one strategy and stick with it. Those four books, well, one of the books was about food, but the other three books, Bringing Up Bebe, The Secrets of the Baby Whisperer, and The Wonder Weeks, all kind of have the same strategy. So we chose to stick with those three and it's paid off. You as a parent, you got a lot of choices to make. Hopefully this review can help you make a little more sense out of life. Those first three, they share the philosophy of when your baby's crying, stop and wait. See why they're crying and don't just run over. Start out how you intend to finish, which is think about what kind of child you want to end up having because everything you do with your young baby will teach them how to relate to life because if they've only been alive for a week and you rock your kid to sleep, then they think in order to go to sleep, I need to be rocked by my parents, which means you will suffer when your <laughs> child weighs 22 pounds. The Bringing Up Bebe book, mm -hmm. that one talks about the difference between French and American parenting. Not to say that the French are great and we're bad, but French kids in general don't throw fits in the supermarket. They eat everything at the table. At least they have a wide variety of foods they appreciate like an adult instead of being limited and really picky about their food. And it also talks about how French kids can deal with frustration and how they sleep through the night a lot earlier than Mer American kids on average. And I was like, for sure, I want Who my Who wouldn't want that? <laughs> right. The Baby Whisperer talks about getting your child on a predictable, yet flexible schedule, the easy schedule, the easy routine, which is an acronym for eat, activity, sleep, and you time. It also talks about, yeah, starting as you mean to go on, the slow, you know, stop, listen, observe, find out what's up with your baby. So um, the common theme between bringing up Bebe and the secrets of the baby right. whisper, I think, is the pause and just really communicating with your baby from day one and learning their different cries, not rushing in right away, but just observing them and seeing what yeah. they really need. I have Chinese parents actually telling me all the time, like, wow, your baby is so well behaved. She plays by herself so well. And it seems like that the things that we've been learning in the book and have been applying, seems like they're actually working. The other book is The Wonder Weeks. And basically that book talks about how researchers figured out through observation and science that mm -hmm. babies go through developmental leaps at the same time on a schedule. Mm -hmm. So they have a calendar in there which shows you when your baby is going to be fussy for a few days or a few weeks and then it breaks down what's going on in their brain and how they're developing. So the yeah. biggest takeaway for me is that I can know when our daughter is going to be more fussy. The Wonder Weeks also helped us to know what kinds of things she was learning, what she would be able to do after the developmental leap, what kinds of games and things that she might enjoy during those times. Those are the four books we used. One of those super baby food was just how to feed your baby, what and what time, you know. Uh, it works. Our baby eats lots of vegetables. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah, um, she, likes it. It, she read that book. I didn't read any of the super baby food book. <laughs> You're not us and you probably have your own set of parents and your own friends that you love telling you how to raise your kids. So mm -hmm. take it from us. Whatever books you choose, just choose something and stick to it. Because you know what? Your baby will be a toddler soon and those sleepless nights will be behind you. So just, just choose a strategy. We put links in the description below. Read what other people had to say. They served us well. They should serve you well. Question of the day, what parenting philosophy or style have you oh, chosen? Yeah. We want to hear about it. Let us know in the comments below. We'll start a discussion. Again, I'm Quajo. I'm Jamie. Take care, okay? This is We Are Learning Mandarin. If you know somebody that's been in China, or if you know someone that's going to China, or if you're just curious about life in China, keep watching our vlog. We like to share with you. Bye. Bye.